Hi, this tutorial is being created to practice some questions for the exam uh, and the topic is going to be the SAML 2.0 and OAuth and OpenID. Uh, so the, on these concepts, their use cases and their workflow, how does it work? We are going to discuss uh, the basic understanding first of all and then will be followed by some practice questions. Please subscribe to the channel and enable the bell icon for the video notifications. So the basic terminology is before we move on further on uh, on these on these uh, uh, topics, identity provider, service provider, and the user. Um, these are the basic terminologies that we have in the federated identity. Each party that has its own identity provider and each system that accepts the identity information is known as a relying party. So in this concepts, overall, we have um, these, um, these, uh, uh, these terminologies here. For example, uh, this relationship, for, uh, first of all, we have uh, the user and then we have uh, relying party. Also, uh, we can call it as service um, provider because this is the one and then we have IDP okay so why do we call this as relying party or even the service provider because this is the entity which is going to offer some kind of service which user want to um, get access and uh, this relying party is going to rely on the the credentials and the um, the kind of identity that is being uh, proved by the identity provider so, um, first of all, the user request uh, the authentication request to the identity provider and once it is successfully authenticated, then the user will go to this uh, relying party or the service provider with the, uh, with the service access request. And in the meanwhile, there is a relationship. Um, there is a relationship between identity provider and the relying party. This relying part, this identity provider will just uh, inform the relying party, okay, you can trust this user, this is uh, successfully authenticated. So this is how this, uh, this relationship works. So those who are familiar with the cloud uh, providers, like in Google, it is uh, the identity provider known as the Google cl uh, Cloud Identity. In Azure, it is Azure Active Directory. In AWS, it is AWS IAM and Okta as well. So, um, moving on further to SAML. So, what is SAML? It is an XML-based open standard that is primarily used for uh, the authentication as well as the authorization, the information between identity providers and the service providers. So, this is uh, this is a full-fledged. Uh, um, uh, protocol which provides the authentication and the uh, the authorization. Remember from exam point of view uh, that if the, this kind of question comes in the exam that which protocol is actually uh, is self-reliant for the authentication as well as for the authorization then SAML is the answer. SAML 2.0 is the latest one. Okay and uh, if we if we talk about the flow of um, of SAML 2.0, then uh, we have here the the service provider, and then we have like uh, user, uh, or we can call it as client. But for now, let's say it is web, which is uh, sending the request, and then we have IDP, uh, the identity provider. So first of all. Um, there is the flow of information. For example, this this user is going to uh, <coughs> to request a service, and then uh, this is going to generate uh, the authentication. That is number one. Number two is auth request, and this identity provider is actually asking for the uh, for the login and then verifying the login credentials so authentic authentication is happening on the identity provider end 
So that is the activity number three. And once this uh, login credentials are proven successfully, then uh, this forward the SAML token directly to service provider. Okay, and based on that SAML token, um, to say that okay, you can trust this user. This is success successfully been uh, authenticated, and then this will grant the service to this user. Okay, this is how the SAML 2.0 works, and this is how the authentication is happening here on this part and the authorization is that based on the successful authentication the service provider is offering that okay you are eligible to access these these services um, it is it is just offering that then we have uh, oauth uh, oauth works uh, basically over the https um, to issue the access tokens rather than using the credentials like username and password to authorize any application device or API. Um, basically, this, um, this is the OAuth is just for the authorization purpose. This doesn't um, support the authentication part. And you must have seen in the mobile applications, primarily the OAuth uh, 2.0 is being used for the mobile applications to grant, uh, uh, to authorize to, uh, for reading something or for writing something to the different mobile applications. This is where this, uh, you know, this is successfully being integrated uh, for the authorization purpose. OpenID, it is uh, basically built on top of uh, OAuth 2.0 uh, protocol, which is being used uh, JWT. So, JWT tokens, uh, JSON web tokens are being used for the authentication purpose. Now, uh, with the combination, so since the o, uh, OpenID is working on top of OAuth, so with this combination, it is supporting the authorization as well as the uh, authentication, both. For example, uh, you must have seen when you log in into the, uh, if you have uh, the, the Facebook and Google account, uh, you can use these, uh, these accounts, these credentials to log in into the other applications, right? So this is where this, uh, this becomes handy. The overall workflow of um, the, the OAuth 2.0, it is pretty much uh, different from, um, from the SAML. For example, in, in SAML, we have used um, this token, right? But in OAuth, this will send back, uh, so this, this token is being handed over to uh, to the user and then user is submitting it to the service provider then service provider is getting it uh, verified directly with the identity provider. So that is the overall uh, workflow difference between OAuth and SAML. So uh, the use cases in terms of um, the, uh, the use cases, the SAML is primarily used for the corporate authentication and authorization purpose. Uh, while the OAuth is usually mobile applications for the authorization, as I said, um, if you have ever, ever signed up for a new application and agreed to let it automatically source new contact, for example, via Facebook or your mobile phone contact, then probably it is, um, it is the OAuth protocol used. OpenID Connect, if you have used your Google account, um, Google credentials to sign into the applications like YouTube or Facebook to log in into the online shopping cart. Then this is uh, this is the OpenID Connect protocol uh, being used there. So overall, um, this um, the the SAML is for the corporate or enterprise kind of applications. OAuth is for the mobile applications, and OpenID is 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 for the cross-platform um, support. Moving on to some questions. Um, for example, um, the first question like SAML identity assertion token uses the protocol. Um, we have options like XML, then HTTP, HTML and SKY. Um, HTTP is, is a protocol uh, which is for the web, uh, it works on, uh, on port 80. Um, HTML is used to present um, the web pages, SKY is the universal character set. So, none of these are being used in the SAML. Um, these are the wrong options. This is the correct because we have seen here in SAML, it is based on the XML um, standard. 
and uh, then we have in the centralized broker identity federation which entity typically creates and sends the SAML token. So we have options like uh, cloud provider. So cloud provider, it, is, it has no relation with the cloud provider because it is just the, uh, just the protocol which is being implemented for the authorization and the authentication. So this has nothing to do uh, specifically with the cloud provider. Um, ISP, it has nothing to do with the uh, ISPs. It is for the internet, of course. Uh, broker, uh, then we have uh, cloud customer. So cloud customer is the one who is consuming, uh, was using the internet services, um, using the cloud services from the provider. So it has nothing to do with the cloud provider. So we are left with the correct answer, which is the broker. C is the correct answer. Uh, the next one is uh, which of the following is a federated feder federation standard protocol that doesn't rely on SOAP, uh, SAML or XML. Uh, so which one is, is the uh, possibly the correct answer here? Um, we have uh, um, the WS Federation, OpenID Connect, um, SOC2. So, um, here, the WS Federation is a federation protocol that is part of the WS security family of standards and, uh, you know, um, reliant on the SOAP. Um, so, this is, this is not the correct answer. Then we have um, the SOC2, it is a kind of report, the audit report. And uh, OASP is um, the, the volunteer group of uh, uh, the web app developers, this is not a federation standard protocol. So we are left with the open ID connect. So this is the correct answer uh, B. Which of the following is not a common federation technology? So WS, the federation is the, uh, yes, this is a federation and open ID is also the federation. O OAuth is also the federation technology. So OASP is not a federation technology. So this is the, the correct answer here. A group of clinics decides to create an identification federation for their users, medical providers or the clinicians. Um, if they opt to use the web of trust models for the federation, who is or are the identity providers here? This is a very good question um, because this, this looks like a web of a trust federation model. So here, all of the participating organizations are the identity providers. Each organization will assign the identity um, credentials to its own um, authorized users and all the other organizations in the federation will accept those credentials. So, the correct answer here is the each organization because the, the trusted uh, third party it cannot be uh, because this is, uh, this is a, the web of trust federation model uh, among those, those clinics. Um, the regular over regulator overseeing their industry, it is also not the correct answer. Uh, all of their patients, all of course, is not a correct answer. So the correct answer is each organization there. With this, I conclude this uh, tutorial. Uh, for more information or for regular uh, threads, please um, follow me on the Twitter or you can connect me on LinkedIn. Um, the um, the web link is shared in the video description. You can click on that and follow me on Twitter and connect me on the LinkedIn for more interesting information, for interesting threads. Thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe to that channel with the notifications for regular video updates. Like and share the video. Thank you.